Well, this is a simple, straightforward approach to setting up FTP connection to your FTP server using Dreamweaver. You do not have to use external programs like Fetch or Transmit or WS Pro to do this. Dreamweaver does all your file management for you from Dreamweaver. So we can get this started very simply. Now notice I'm working in classic mode. Classic mode is just a simpler way to understand the program. It's less headaches, less confusing. So I'm gonna start out by going to site, new site. Now notice there are two different settings for this. There's the basic, which sounds really straightforward, but it's not, it's gonna confuse the heck out of you. And there's the advanced mode. I highly suggest you go to the advanced mode. So over here is the name of our site that we're gonna set up. So we're just gonna take the name of the site and copy. Why am I copying this way? There's no typos. Command C, Macintosh, Control C, Windows. And I'm gonna put the site name right here. This is just for our reference. We could call this a uh, monkey head if we want to. We're gonna call it the name of the site. Next, we're gonna tell Dreamweaver where we're gonna keep the site on our computer. This can be kept any place. I happen to put my sites in a folder called websites, which is on my desktop. Inside the websites folder is my separate website development folders for my clients based on their domain name. So I'm basically gonna select the folder go to websites, pick this as my root folder for that particular website, which is Tarragon Home. So then I say www.paste.com. So this is step one. This is a three-step process. Step one, local information. We don't have to pay attention to this images folder because it's not necessary. I don't use it. Okay, then we're gonna to go to remote information and we're gonna pick FTP, which stands for Fire File Transfer Protocol. In case you had a barbecue this weekend or a dinner party and that subject comes up, now know that it means File Transfer Protocol. Now, depending on your server, if you host with GoDaddy or Network Solutions or Register.com, they might require to put in the actual FTP dot. Well, my server does not require that. So I'm just gonna put in the name of my main fault by dot com host directory is going to be www forward slash now some servers call this public underscore html my server calls it www forward slash then i'm going to pick the username and i can simply copy and paste then i'm going to pick the password i can simply copy and paste. Now, this is FTP passive. This depends on your server connection. I'm sorry, on your ISP connection. I use I use um, Time Warner cable. They don't require passive FTP. But then in the office here, I use RCN. They require passive FTP. So the difference being, if your connection hangs up, use passive FTP. If it doesn't hang up, don't use passive FTP. But in my connection here, I'm gonna pick use passive FTP. The difference being if it hangs up, then use it or don't use it. It's toggle on or off. So if this is correct, so if your information is correct, and I'm gonna pick use passive FTP and hit test, it's gonna make a successful connection to your server via Dreamweaver. So that's step two. Step one was local information, which we set up. Step two is remote information. Step three is testing server. Testing server basically puts it on a certain part of your server in a separate folder, if in fact you choose to use it that way. So this is a simple, simple process. I go to testing server. Now let's say you're connected to a database. You can pick one of your databases that you're going to use, MySQL connection. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. I'm just picking that as an example if you have to be connected to a MySQL database. If you're not, then don't pick a server model. Then I simply pick FTP. This pre-populates this from the previous page. It pre-populates the information from the previous page. Now, the only thing I need to pay attention to here is that it assumed that my testing server folder was www. That's not true. So I'm going to cut this from here and I'm simply gonna put www over here, dot. So if this is correct, I hit test and it connects to my testing server. So let's see how that works. So I'm simply gonna hit okay. Okay, so now if I click right here, this is going to bring up my split screen. The shortcut for this is Command and Shift F hides this. Command and Shift F 
opens this. Okay, so if I go to Window Files, this hides it. Window Files opens it. So I can make myself a new file. So let's just simply make a new file. File New. We're going to make an HTML file. We're going to save that inside of this folder called. Now let's assume that the index page is already sitting up there from the server that says under development coming soon. So this is simply called index version one for the client. Index underscore version one as opposed to version two, version three. So we can say my client site version one. And if I could learn how to spell client, that would certainly help me. So I'm just going to put it in my new page and give this an h tag, command one, it has an h tag. So now I want to publish this page to the server because I set up an FTP connection and I set up a testing server. I can simply go to file, preview and browser. I'm going to pick Safari, which I have set up by default as option F12. Firefox I have set up as command F12. You can set this up on your computer. If you're Windows, you're probably using Internet Explorer and Firefox and not Safari. So therefore, if I simply either do that, file, preview the browser, or click right here, I can upload the file. Now, very important step, the difference between uploading the file and publishing the file, uploading the file uploads via FTP. Publishing the file, as in previewing the file, does two things. It puts the file on the internet and puts it inside the testing server. So it's going to ask you a few questions. Do you want to put this on the testing server? Well, if I say no, nothing's going to happen. But I want to say yes. Then it's going to say are any dependent files. Well, I don't have any dependent files. I just have text on my page. An example of a dependent file would be graphics, QuickType, movie, logos. So I'm going to say no. So it's going to take this page and physically, physically publish it to the web. This is now on the internet. Unlike other FT programs where you have to drag files, Dreamweaver doesn't require that. You can simply publish the files. Publish the files. Now, if I go back to Dreamweaver for a second, let's understand the difference between publishing the file and simply uploading the page. So I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to give this command 2, which is header 2. Command 3 is header 3. So my new page, wow. So now the choice I have is I can publish it back to the server by going to File, Preview and Browser, or I can simply upload the page. Now if you upload the page by going to Command Shift U, upload the page, it's going to upload it to the server, it's dependent files, no, but then I would have to go back to my web page and refresh the page. By publishing the page to the testing server, basically it saves you the step of refreshing the page. It does, you, does it for you. So I just want to be extremely clear about this. Whether you go to File, Upload, Command Shift U, or Preview in Browser, they both upload the page to the server. Command Shift F. You can also do that from right here. I can select this file and upload the file. I can select existing files and download the file. So let's say I want to download this page here. So I can select this page and download it. It's going to say you want to put dependent files. In this particular case, I'll say yes. So it's going to take that file and download it to my local folder. Okay, so here if I refresh this, if I refresh the page, Here's my file that I just downloaded. And there's my page. So FTP is very simple. Now this is a totally different setup from Dream River CS5. It's visually different. It's the same premise, but it's just visually different.